All right. This is where I want to show you how you edit. So I picked just a picture where I could add a picture. Go to page editing and then hit page editor. Now I can edit anything on the screen. Right now I want to edit the big white spot. So I'm going to hit it like that. And I'm going to, whoops. So it's easier with the mouse, I will tell you that. I want it to only grab this part. So I have to wait to get kind of the arrow. I can make it as big as I want. And normally, like I said, when I edit, I have a mouse. Um, finger doesn't quite cut it. Or sometimes. Hold on. Uh, as you can see, I'm having trouble grabbing the edge of this. There we go. I want to take up the whole screen. Now, you can do what, whatever you want. You know, I can get rid of boxes. Like, if I wanted all that, just tap that box and hit the scissors, and it's gone. Uh, so, real fast, I want to show you. It took me a while to learn this. There'll be a lot more videos. When I just want to make my own boxes, I hit this. So, go to that one. Hit that. Hit that. Brings up a pop. I just enter the label. Stick to the whatever theme. Whoops. If I could spell correctly. There's my whatever. It brings it all up for me. Now, if I double tap it, I can do the behavior editor. They have an insert label. I could do speak label, whatever I want. So that, this particular button makes the buttons. Now, if you hit the A, now I'm going to make a text box. So I've hit that. Make it as big as I want. I can type in whatever message I want. So that says whatever. Double tap it. I can change the font. You know, 12, 16, whatever. Now, this text does not have a behavior part. So here's the cool thing. I hit where the other little A is with the blank spot, and I go down to where it has almost like a bright thingy. So it looks like that. Make sure it's always highlighted. And I make a box around my text box. That makes an active behavior. So now I can have it speak the label. I add it. Now let's say I get out of the page editor. You go up to the upside down triangle, hit exit, ask me to save. Yes, I do. Now this will say, whoops. Okay, well, that made me look really bad. Hold on just a sec. I'm going to see why I didn't do that. Why didn't, you know, well, oh, my bad. I can't have it speak label when it's text. I have to hit speak text. So speak text will say whatever. Now sometimes you might have a button where you don't want it to say the label, but you want it to say what you want it to say. Like if you want a longer sentence, but the label only says who, but you want to say who is it, then you use an active, you use speak text. So you write in the text the button's going to say. So now this button, well, so let me save it, will say whatever. Whatever. See? And you can't even tell whatever. it's a button. Sometimes I have pictures and I make an active area around the picture and it speaks what I want it to. So that's just a quick tutorial on page editing. Those are the things I use the most. Um, kind of tomorrow I'll try to show you some more. And that's it for this one.